Golf with Your Friends was released on May 19th, 2020 for PC, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. This game promises to be your destination for the precision sport of golf combined with the chaos of playing with your friends and or random online players, while also being in general a fun and challenging golfing experience with a wide variety of courses and challenging holes to try and put your ball through. So is this game as good and as fun as it promises to be? Let's find out. The graphics for this game are fine, if not a bit basic. All of the courses are bright and colorful, which is nice, and everything is very well modeled, but beyond that, all the objects, buildings, and scenery within the courses are just kind of boring and nothing really stands out. The gameplay is, well, golf, meaning you are trying to get your ball through each of the 18 holes within a course with the least amount of strokes as possible in order to get at least par or under par overall. You must hit your ball through these holes and their many sharp corners, pits, traps, and hazards, as well as avoid other players if you are playing on multiplayer in order to achieve this. The controls are about as precise as you want them to be. You use the right stick to aim your ball, while the left stick is used to change your power level of how hard you want to hit your ball. The Y button allows you to access free cam, while holding the right bumper will let you use fine aim. Hitting the A button will confirm your putt, and pressing the B button will reset your ball to its previous position. When playing certain game modes, hitting the A button after putting will make your ball jump, and after collecting a power-up, you would use the X button to activate it. Finally, hitting the back button will bring up the scoreboard, pressing the left bumper will light up your ball, and clicking in the right stick will open up the chat. There are currently seven game modes, Classic, Dunk, Hockey, Explore, Party, Practice, and Custom. Classic is golf as it is, which to reiterate is to get the least amount of strokes to get the ball into the hole, while Dunk is where you have to try and jump your ball into a hoop instead of a hole. Hockey is where you put a puck instead of a ball and must avoid the goalie in order to get your puck into the goal. Explore is just as it sounds, which is to say that you are able to explore the holes with no penalties of any kind, while Party is Classic mode but with power-ups such as a honey trap and a double jump. Finally, Practice mode is where you can practice your shots for any hole and custom mode is any of the six previous modes but with a custom set of rules. There are currently 13 courses in the game with the possibility of more being added in the future and all of these courses house 18 holes to put your ball through. These courses range from the basic forest with trees everywhere and the obstacles being power saws to the space station with black holes that could suck up your ball and send it flying into a random direction. Other courses include a haunted house, a volcano, a museum, and two whole courses based on other games, these being Worms and the Escapists. Overall, I would say that this game is quite hard if you are trying to get par or below par, or even trying to beat your friends and or random players. There are many obstacles, hard corners to get around, and ways to easily fall off the course. There are ways to get a lower number of strokes in most holes, but the tricks you need to do, some of which are intended by the developers, others not so much, are very difficult to pull off. And not to mention that if you are playing multiplayer, the constant chaos of being bumped around and knocked off the course by the other player's balls. The music in this game is generic to say the least. I'm not saying that it's bad, but it's not something that will stick in your head after playing. The songs for each course are fitting and are good listens while playing, but they all have simplistic melodies that don't really evolve into anything all that exciting. I would have to guess that the music was made this way on purpose to reflect the sport it is representing, since golf is associated with being quiet and calm when playing, and I would say that all the music tracks in this game reflect that perfectly, but because of that, it results in pretty underwhelming music if judged on its own. I guess if I were to pick my favorite tracks, they would be the main menu theme, the forest course theme, the volcano course theme, the twilight course theme, the worms course theme, and the escapist course theme. So after all that golf talk, would I say that this game is as fun as it promises to be? I would say yes. It is fun to bounce your friend's balls around and off the course, try and line up a shot for the eventual payoff of getting your ball into the hole, and to explore the many differently designed holes. I would say that the fun factor of this game alone makes up for the lackluster music and graphics. And with all that said, I would easily recommend this game. Thanks for watching, and thank you to Alexma123 for choosing this game for me to review. If you also want to have the chance to choose what game I should review, check out the Patreon link below.